Hello, everyone. I'm Vishali Sharda, Assistant Professor of Water Resource Management in Biological and Agricultural Engineering Department at K-State. Um, I'm leading the climate and agricultural productivity section of the Safe Co project. PhD student Ikena and I are working towards creating future climate data sets for the Eastern Kansas River Basin or EKSRB um, to generate future water and nutrient management scenarios and to simulate crop productivity of crops like corn and soybean that are probably prominently grown in the region, along with simulating their irrigation requirements as well as nutrient loading. In this video, we'll, bring, we'll be giving a quick update on what our research efforts have been or have looked like specifically relating to climate in the basin and what, some of, what are some of the next steps. <clears throat> With the recent increase in extreme floods and droughts in the region, um, it becomes imperative to identify adaptation strategies to help uh, guide the future of agricultural production, irrigation water management, and policy in the region. In this part of uh, Project Safeguard, our goal is to assess um, the impact of different management strategies under multiple future climate change scenarios on the agrohydrologic system. Uh, this will include the crop yield, irrigation water use, as well as nitronutrient loading. Um, some of the specific outcomes that we anticipate out of this task include prediction of uh, crop productivity, which means crop yield, uh, water quantity or the amount of water needed um, to irrigate or to grow those crops, and water quality for uh, different management and climate scenarios. Uh, we are developing the agrohydrologic model. Uh, we are looking at a crop model specifically, which is called DSAT, um, and uh, Ikena is working on uh, setting up the model and running it at a four kilometer by four kilometer grid uh, for the entire basin or the watershed. Uh, and uh, results from this analysis will be used um, by other team members of the project to both uh, the water group as well as um, Dr. Nelson's uh, socioeconomic or the um, resilience group. Um, so um, from now, uh, from here on, Ikena will talk about the details of some of the research that he is uh, working on. Hi, viewers. My name is Ikena Onyegwele. I'm a PhD student working with Dr. Vashali Shada on the Safe Carb project. As part of this project, I am focusing on simulating crop productivity and irrigation water requirements under different climate and water management scenarios in Eastern Kansas River Basin. I'm achieving this by connecting climate system and agricultural production systems using crop simulation models to identify the impact of a changing climate on water use and yield productivity relative to current condition. As you may know, the Eastern Kansas River Basin is the basin of the Kansas River, which is positioned near the 100 meridian. And so the 100 meridian is now the humid dividing line between the humid eastern and arid western United States. And so with increase in atmospheric gases like CO2, mean air temperature and precipitation have been projected to increase and decline respectively in the region. However, this projected increase in temperature and decline in precipitation will likely result in aridity increase as we go into the future in the region. Therefore, growing crops under this condition will likely result in yield decline, leading to decline in farmers' net profits. In my next step, I will look at acquiring data for setting up crop modeling framework to study the adaptation measures to sustain rainfall production under future climate change. I will subsequently focus on scaling climate change impacts on crop yield and water use productivity from farm fields to the entire eastern Kansas River Basin region using crop simulation models. I will begin with a case study in Shawnee County to understand how irrigation water use can be preserved in order to save water and increase water productivity. Thank you.